Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. You may have seen websites that have a little search field where you can type in a word and search for content on that website. Well, normally that's a complicated thing to program into a website, but 90 Second Website Builder, again, makes it fairly easy for you to do. In fact, really easy for you to do. I'm gonna show you how right now. On the screen, you'll see I've got 90 Second Website Builder open with a demonstration website. In fact, this is one of our templates, a 4X template that you could uh, work with if you want to. And we'll use this to create our little uh, content search field for this website. Let me show you around first. I've got uh, multiple pages in this uh, template. This is the home page or the index page that we're on now. I've also got a what I call the welcome page. That's where we'll be working. And then I made three pages that have some sort of content on them. And I did that so that for this demonstration, when we go to search, we'll have something to search. So I've pasted in some articles on this topic so we can have some content to work with. But let's use this welcome page as kind of our testing ground. And I'm gonna show you what I've got here. Now this is a, a site search field. And to put it there was very easy. I've already got one, but I'm gonna delete this so I can show you how I did it. It was really simple. What I did was I went over to the extra toolbox over here in the toolbox column, and there's simply a tool appropriately called Site Search. If you click on this and drag it over onto the canvas like this, and uh, then put it in place. I'm gonna put mine up here because I put a little, you can see I put a little text up here to go with it. I'm going to stretch it so it's a little bit bigger. And this is where my user will be able to type in a word and search my site for uh, that word, for whatever content appears for that particular word. Now, how the results for that search appear is the fun part. That's the part I get to decide. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to double click on this. And you can see I can set some properties for this field. For example, the starting text says search this website. And I can change that if I want to. I'll probably leave that, that makes sense. I'm also gonna check this box called Auto Complete, or I'm gonna enable Auto Complete, and I'll show you what that means in a minute when we go to use this. If I don't get any results, if I type in a word where there is no content, I can have it display the phrase, no results, I can change that. And then we're gonna look for keywords and description. This basically uh, is where I set up how the results will look when somebody searches for uh, a particular word. Now, um, you'll notice down at the bottom, and of course those results are gonna be text, so I can decide what the font looks like here. But you'll notice that down here, I have a pull-down window. And there are three different ways I can present the search results. I'm gonna show you the basic one, which is the results will be shown in a regular browser window. So in other words, when somebody types in a word to see if that word appears in the content of this website, a new browser window is going to open up with a list of the results. It's just, the, just like you would expect from a search engine. Now I can decide with these settings how that window is going to appear when it pops up. So for example, I can have it appear 100 pixels from the left and uh, let's say 300 pixels from the top and I can make the width of that window be a particular size if I want to, etc. I can decide if there's gonna be a menu bar, a toolbar. I can decide what that window is going to look like if this is the way I'm gonna produce the results. So let's try it first. So I've changed the settings. We're gonna show the results in this new browser window. I'm gonna click OK. And now let's give it a shot. So I'm going to click F5 because that's how we preview our work in 90 Second Website Builder. And here's this page. Let me bring it over into the camera better. And I'm going to search for a word I know is on this site. So I'm going to call it uh, 4X. Now, remember I checked that autocomplete. You'll notice it's starting to make uh, suggestions for me as I type. That's why. So when I type the word F O R you can see that it was making suggestions for me. That's what that autocomplete was doing. And of course, I want the word 4X. As long as my cursor is inside the field, I can click Enter, and there's my search result. Now you'll notice the window popped up 300 pixels down from the top, 100 pixels from the side, because that's what I told it to do, and it's about 700 pixels wide. And these are my search results. Now, let me show you something that happened. One of the things it does is it displays the names or the titles of the page where those words appear. So it's giving me this page, which is called Untitled Page. Oops, I gotta go fix that. That's not a good name for my page. 
it's got a page called information and now the, the word that I searched for was was in that particular um, page etc so you can see here are the titles of the pages and it all I would have to do if I wanted to go to that page is click on this link and it would take me to that particular page and so of course here's the word 4x on that page now notice that when I do that I still am within the same browser window so I want to think about how wide I really want that to be maybe I want that to be as wide as my website let's try that okay so let's close the preview and let's look at this again we're gonna go back see what happened there's that autocomplete that we saw working remember I'm showing the results in a new browser window and in my case I had that window come up from the left and down from the top um, this many pixels I made it 700 pixels wide maybe I'll go a little wider because I kinda want it to look a little bit better and um, the other thing that happened what was the other thing oh yeah I had my t my page titles were wrong so I need to go fix that so here's how we do that let's go back to look at my pages and let's see which ones were wrong well let's see here's my index page if I go to the page properties what's the title of my index page Oh, there's the problem I need to call this something so I can call this home page so that when it comes up in the search results it won't say untitled page okay so make sure your titles are good and I've got a video that shows you how to do that but it's fairly simple okay so now let's go back and do some more testing alright here's our site search properties remember we can change the font you, what you saw was an Arial black text Arial 10 black text with a white background etc again we can change all of that let's just change it just a little bit so we can see how that looks let's go Arial black and make it 12 it'll be a little bit bolder again we're gonna show the results in a browser window okay so let's test it I'm gonna go at 5 let's type in the word this time I'm gonna type in the word opportunity there it is my autocomplete is helping me I did that because I know that that's not on every page I want to show you what the test uh, what the search results will look like it only comes up with one particular search result and by the way remember I changed the font to that bold it's pretty big it's kind of ugly actually I probably changed that only one page came up because that's where the word opportunity appears on the site if I click here sure enough I go to that page where the word opportunity was and it's looking at all of the text not just these titles it's looking at all of the text on the page all of the content so you get the idea one of the things I do is I probably not use that font that was pretty big I'll go back to regular Arial 10 and let's keep it let's keep it like that so that's basically how you make a very simple uh, site search let me continue the video though I mean you can stop right here and you'll you'll be able to go do what I just did but let me show you one slightly advanced feature and you may want to mess around with this this is going to take a little bit more doing but it does look kind of cool if you want to do it this way uh, if you want to you can create a jQuery dialog which is just kind of a fancy box that comes up rather than opening a browser window a pop-up box is going to show up that's built in jQuery and we have some settings for that too so my search results won't be in a browser window they'll be in what's called the dialog box what that dialog box looks like is going to be decided on here in these properties so I would pick a theme so a color theme that I like that might be appropriate to my website and um, I can decide a couple of things the width of that the height of that whether it's a modal and I'll show you what that looks like we'll leave that because that looks really cool we'll just leave these a default setting so all I did was I just picked a theme and now my search results are gonna come up rather than in a window in a dialog box okay so let's try that now go back here and click F5 and let's do 4x again because that produces a lot of pages 4x is on just about every page of this particular site so I'm gonna click enter on the keyboard and now look at my search results instead of in a instead of being in a separate browser window this is just a little pop-up window here and each result has a link to that page where the word 4x was the look of this this color of text and all of this this was all decided in the theme roller of jQuery remember when I chose the theme I think I chose smoothness was the name of the theme this is what it looks like I also allowed my user to have this little draggable window here so they can increase the size of it all of this is customizable because it's a jQuery theme so let's look at a couple of other options I I'll show you what I mean okay so let's go back remember this is slightly more advanced but it's it's not that hard 
So we're showing the results in the jQuery dialog. I go to the settings. I allowed the window to be resizable. I allowed it to be draggable, all that kind of stuff. Modal means that it comes into focus more. The sort of the background of the website kind of grays out and it makes that uh, dialog box just kind of pop on the screen. It looks really cool. Let's change the theme just so you can see. We'll do something sort of drastic here. We'll pick a, yeah, pick a green. That's fine. So this one's called South Street. Let's keep all the other settings except I'm going to change the search results. I'm going to change this to a capital R so you can see where this appeared in the screen. And we're going to leave modal. Let's try this again. And let's uh, hit F5 to preview. There it is, opportunity. Put my cursor in there so I can go enter. And you'll notice how this has grayed out. It really shows up with this particular theme. That's what the modal setting does. So the focus is on my screen here. Now, you'll notice because of the theme that I chose that my little search results font isn't showing. This, this actually says search results right here, but you can't see it because it's white. So it's probably not a great theme for this particular box because nobody's going to read that where it says search results. But I've got my closed box and all that good stuff. And then there's the one result that comes up for opportunity. Now, if I click on this, it's going to take me to that particular page. Watch. See, it actually opens up the whole browser now and takes me to the page rather than stay inside that smaller browser window that I had the results in. So that's one of the advantages of using the jQuery. Let's try this again. I know this is getting to be a long video, but it's kind of fun, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to go to the settings. Let's pick a better, uh, a better theme. Let's just try one. Let's try a really dark one and see if that makes a difference. See where it says search results. Uh, let's keep that. Let's keep our all of our fonts and everything good. All right, I'm going to click OK, F5. And let's try, let's do 4x again because I know that gets a lot of stuff. Okay, 4x. And I'm going to click enter on my keyboard. Yeah, that looks much better. See, I picked a better theme so that the word search results shows. Scroll down because remember, I got a lot of uh, results with that word. And if I click on one of these links, it takes me to that particular page. All right. Now, this very cool feature. I'll show you something real quick. Remember I showed you there was three options. You can show the results in a new browser. That was the first one we did. That's the simple one. There's the more advanced jQuery one, and that's a great way to do it. There is another way to do it. I'm not going to do it in this video because it's a little more uh, extensive, and I'll have to make another video about it. If you want to make the results show in an inline frame, or in other words, an iframe, that's not another great way to do that. I'm not going to go into it in this video. I'm just going to touch on it because what would what we have to do to do this is we have to go back and actually create a couple of things. We have to create an iframe and we'd have to create a page that that iframe defaults to and then the uh, results would appear in that particular iframe. So we'll save that for another video because this one's getting too long. Right now if you want to create site search for your website and you want to do it fast and simple use this option to re show the results in a browser window. If you want to get a little bit fancy schmancy, I like this one. So anyway, mess around with it and have fun. That's how you create site search on your website with 90 Second Website Builder.